Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about the question, are you taking action on the creative ideas that God gives you? I was walking through a store and I saw this piece of women's clothing with a face mask attached to it. And obviously in the year 2020, that was a big thing because of the pandemic. People had to wear face masks and if you know any women, for the most part, it seems like many of them have multiple masks to go with color coordinate or whatever with the clothing they're wearing. Men, it seems to be kind of, they have one or they don't even have, people are having to give them masks to go into stores that require masks on. And they don't seem to be doing that as much. And I didn't go check the men's section to see if they were doing the same thing over there. But this is very interesting because this is a creative idea. I don't know if this particular piece of clothing was made with this intent of putting a mask with it or if it was something that wasn't selling very well and they redesigned it by just putting a mask on it and being able to charge more. And now you got this creative thing that matches and it's exactly what people are looking for in that demographic. And this got me thinking about all the times I've heard people say, well, I had this idea, but somebody else did it later because they're not taking action on the ideas God's giving them. And some people say, well, God's not giving me any ideas. It's just not true. They just don't, they either immediately shoot the idea down or they think about it. They may even talk about it a little bit, but they never do anything with it. And the scripture talks about witty inventions the wisdom of God, that he teaches us to profit, that he gives us the power to get wealth. Notice it's power to get wealth. He doesn't necessarily just give you the wealth. You don't wake up one day and money's all over your house. He gives you the power to get wealth. He teaches you to profit. So you still have to do stuff, but you're taught. He'll teach you to profit. And I think one of the biggest causes of failure in many businesses are just mediocrity because some businesses kind of just continue along but they're not really having any growth they're not really doing anything they're just existing and that's basically failure but one of the biggest causes of that is the fact that people aren't taking action on creative ideas this doesn't mean every single whim any little weird idea that pops in your head you immediately go do but there are ideas that you know could make money things like this particular piece of clothing maybe this piece of clothing isn't selling for very well or maybe it's selling all right but you could get a few dollars more value from it by throwing a 10 cent mask on there and importantly you're providing more value for your customer who's happy to pay a little bit more to get that color coordinated matching outfit and so when you act on the creativity God gives you, when you act on those ideas, you bring about great success. You bring about new things into your life, more ways for you to achieve great wealth and success. He gives you the power to get wealth. He teaches you to profit. If you don't believe that you've been taught to profit, you don't believe that God's been teaching you that, go to him in an open heart and seek his wisdom. He gives it to you liberally if you'll ask and you'll receive. You don't waver. You don't say, well, you know, I asked God to give me wisdom, but you know, this over here happened. Or I don't know if I can really do that. I don't have the money for that. And you start wavering. That man can't receive anything of the Lord. The scripture is very clear on that. You have to ask in faith, not doubting, not in unbelief, not wavering, not being tossed about to and fro like a wave of the sea, but you have to ask in faith. But here's the thing. He gives liberally. So you're not just going to get the little bit of wisdom you're seeking. You're going to get a lot of wisdom. And you'll be able to achieve great things. You'll have witty inventions come to mind. You'll have new creative ideas of maybe taking a product that is basically dead in the water. It's doing nothing repackaging it, bundling it with something else to bring new life to it and to provide better value for your customer. So they're no longer just getting a piece of clothing. 
they're getting a piece of clothing that matches with a face mask that is exactly what they would be wanting. It takes one extra step out of their shopping day. And they enjoy that and they like that. So there's a great benefit here that you're providing as well when you act on the creative ideas God gives you. This could be a book. This could be a piece of art. Just a simple piece of art could really truly bless people and inspire them and motivate them and really be a great blessing to them. But if you don't paint it, if you don't create the sculpture, if you don't paint the painting, if you don't write the piece of poetry, if you don't write the book, if you don't write that great novel, you're robbing people of that blessing. A blessing that God wants to work through you because he's giving you the idea. Now, here's one of the things that many people don't understand. They think, well, God gave me this idea. I got however long to wait and get about to doing it someday. That's not what happens. What seems to happen is that God gives the idea to a number of people and someone acts on it. Some cases, no one acts on it, it seems. And years later, somebody finally acts on it. And you have all these people coming out of the woodwork saying, well, I had that idea too. But this was the problem, or I couldn't do this, or this was... And they have all these excuses for why they didn't do it. So if you have an idea that kind of just resonates in your heart, and you're thinking about it, and you, you ponder it, take action on that. Don't wait for someone else to take action on it. Because God's giving liberally. He's blessing. He's prospering. He's giving people these ideas that can bring them great wealth and success so that they can be a greater blessing to the world. And unfortunately, the majority does nothing with them. And as time goes on, you'll get less of those ideas because you don't take action on the beginning ones that you were given. You know, the scripture of Jesus talked about the person that's faithful and little can be trusted much. If you're not faithful in that little idea, even if you just take action on it and it fails miserably, that can then lead to greater things. And there have been so many businesses who started doing one thing, Amazon.com being an example, started just selling books. A very mediocre business model as far as where it led to. But they expanded and expanded and expanded. And now they're doing all kinds of things. Completely different. The, being a bookstore is long gone. It's not even a thought. They sell books, but they sell everything. So sometimes just you getting out there, taking action on the creative idea you have, maybe that creative idea does not bring you the great wealth and success you thought it might, but it leads you to doing something else that you never would have went towards without taking action on that first idea that then leads to you becoming the next Amazon.com. So many business people know this, where they've started one thing and it ended up being something completely different from what they started. This is why you people out there that are making your business plans and, well, we're having a meeting to determine how we're going to change this wording in our business plan. You guys are completely wasting time. You're putting so much effort into a business plan that's going to be scrapped a few days in or maybe a few months in because it's not where you're going to end up. Now, it's great to have some model and a plan for where you're going, but that needs to be very basic and something that you actually take action on. If the only action you're taking is making a business plan, you're going nowhere. You have the proverbial tires stuck in the mud and you're just spinning your tires going nowhere. You're stuck in place. So my friend, I want to encourage you today, take action. I don't know what the idea you might have, or it might be ideas, it might be plural. I don't know what these ideas are you might be having, but take action on them. Even if it's a little bit, even it's just, okay, today I'm going to research that idea. Is it possible? Is it feasible? Maybe it's just writing the idea down and writing a list of pros and a list of cons. Because that alone might cause, spark new ideas on how to perfect that idea before you even get started. Whatever it may be, take some action on that creative idea. Because as you do, God will give you more creative ideas and you will prosper more, you will be blessed more, and you will find great success.
My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.